Um, pretty much. Well, <laughs> pretty much it. Yeah. This manga sold 100,000 copies in Japan. Right? First printing was 300,000. Next printing was 700,000. Right? <laughs> the title of the book is King Kong Ryo. King Kong Ryo means hitting the South Korean wave. Okay. It's, a, it's oh God. an anti South Korean uh, cinema and people in Japan book. And it's, I think it's in its third publication right now. <laughs> You can write something personal okay. Anything? Anything you care to write. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> I got the permission from the from the author. Oh, where would you book. like me to... Doesn't matter. Pick a place. Can I answer with the book? So basically you sent you a copy and... No, I actually had to pay for the copy. You just get the permission to use it oh. inside my phone. hundred dollars? It was ten. Ten? Okay. Yeah. So, do, do you want us to write anything? Anything you like. You want to curse them out? You want to praise them? You want to... <laughs> Tell him not to breed. It's, it's all up to you. Well, it's been. You know what this is? <laughs> okay. I know it's real. <laughs> all right. This manga sold over 100,000 copies its first printing in Japan, and uh, the name of this manga is Ken Kang Rio. Ken Kang Rio translates into hating the South Korean wave. It's basically an anti-South Korean people and their culture and the media in Japan. I just want to know if you'd like to deface it for me. <laughs> she should do it. <laughs> yeah. Like what? Deface it for me. Deface it? Just uh... Sure. <laughs> can you something. tell me more while I deface it? So I um... <laughs> tell you more. I really, um... They claim in that manga that uh... They civilized uh, South Korea after they took them over. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it sold very well in Japan, which is very uh, disconcerting. But it also spawned a bunch of other books in Japan. One called uh... no, not at all. <laughs> oh, one of the books that it spawned, like a uh, trend in, is a book called Ata um, Ken Otaku Ryo, which is heading the Otaku wave, and uh, Ken China Ryo. In the Chinese way. So, I spoke to the guy directly through email. He gave me permission to use his book in the segment in the film, but he didn't specify what I could have been doing in that segment. So, I took it upon myself to you know, have a selling protest and uh, have people to face his book. You can leave it inside too if you want to. There's hundreds of pages. It's gonna die, yeah. <laughs> can I tell you what? I'm oh, sorry, can you tell me what the origin is? Can you know more about the origin? Like, why? Why was it created? Yeah, why was it created? What was their reason? What was the creator's reason? Write on it any way you like. It's, uh, you can write happy things, you can write bad things, it doesn't make a difference. I just wrote that with you. What? I just wrote that with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. 
something hateful or <laughs> something? Anything you want. Any? Anything? You want to charge him out? You want to say something nice to him about his art? You want to do whatever you like? Uh, Alright, so let's do this. <laughs> I have no idea what's her name. Um, curse words. So. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm taking F U. <laughs> All right, so F C K U R. Do I have to buy a signature? Okay. I have no idea what I'm right. Um. You can scribble on it. It doesn't really like it. Really? <laughs> Oh, I want to add something. <laughs> There's about hundreds of pages in there. You could uh, do it to like. You could rip it out if you care. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I'm like a collector. I can't rip it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> it sold very well. Like. Uh, up to date, I honestly can tell you like numbers and stuff, but it sold out every time he printed it. And he, his first printing was 3,000 copies. Like, no, 300,000, I'm sorry. <laughs> and his second, his second printing was 700,000 copies. So, luckily, 100,000 copies. Um, like I wanted to find it. it. Like, how how'd you know about it in the first place? Um, uh, this website called KFC Cinema. Okay. Dot com. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It talk about a bunch of, you know, Asian, like, cinema and what's going on in, like, a manga world and any adaptation okay. and stuff. Okay, well, kind of it was, yeah, it's kind of one of their stories. So, I, you know, I got intrigued by it. It being so kind of obscure that, you know, it's, the, you know, it's people living within their the nation and they want to like yeah you know give them a mood and come down so I <laughs> you should I believe it's up to uh, issue number three right now Thank yeah. you very much. I hope you find many more Oh, I hope so too. <laughs> I've only found a couple. Okay. <laughs> In time.